You are more of a spirit than a natural man. You're not a man. You have been born again. And there's a spirit in you that is alive in the spiritual world. And God is a spirit. So God communicates to your spirit. God speaks to your spirit. The voice of God is clear in the realms of the spirit. And we ought to be alive in the spirit. We ought to hear the voice of the spirit, not from the physical realms. You know, sometimes we want to hear God with our natural ears. God doesn't speak to us with the, in the natural ears. This gate, this natural ear, this natural ear, this gate of your ear is not for the voice of God. But the ear of your spirit is for the voice of God. And so many of you are deaf in the spirit. You can't even hear the voice of God clearly. And this is where we're going to uh, break. We're going to break that deafness. You know, I, I rather want to be deaf physically and hear God with the ears of my spirit. You see, that's why God struck Saul blind so that he can see the visions of God. Amen. That's why God so much allowed John to be bruised. John was put in a drum of oil, cast in a, a, an, an oven. They, they pierced him with sword, pierced him with knife, cut him into pieces. He didn't die, but he was in pain. In that state of deadness, he ascended into the realms of God. There's always a certain bruising required on your physical body for your spirit to escape from this matrix in order to have access to the realms of God. But you don't have to be curt. All you need to do is to discipline your body, that's all. Starve your body of flesh. Wound your body in holiness. Starve it of its urges. Are you hearing me? In that process, hallelujah, you begin to come alive in the spirit realms. No ascension without presenting your bodies first, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. And then it goes into the second point. You have your minds renewed so that you can be transformed. It is, like I said before, it is the transformed man the transformed man that can ascend to heaven and see Jesus. Somebody once asked me, I said, what do you mean by a transformed man? Now, it is the inner man of the heart finding expression. Where the inner man of the heart finds expression. That is when a man has come to a point in his work with God where it is no longer you that live, it is him that lives in you. When it is no longer you that think, it is him that thinks through you. Now, it is, Paul said, in him we move, live, and have our being. A time will come in our work with God where it is no longer us. In fact, this body has become the temple of the living God. He's in control of your entire life. He's in control of your mind. He's in control of your accents. In that at point in time, your ascension to God's heavenly realms will become so easy. In fact, you'll be interacting with God unhindered. In that point, because your entire life is subject to God's influence. Am I communicating? And I pray in the name of Jesus the Christ that thou shalt get your body and bring it under subjection. Amen. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen.